by World News. Back here to politics in the U.S. The election of Donald Trump has opened the eyes of many non-politicians to the possibilities of running and actually making it to the Oval Office. One of those people may be Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg. Correspondent Peter Ducey reports that while Zuckerberg's words say he's not running, his actions may tell a different story. These days, Mark Zuckerberg looks less like a Silicon Valley CEO and more like an Iowa caucus contender. He's eaten local fare with Hawkeye State residents, a ritual for presidential hopefuls, gotten his hands dirty on a factory floor in a fluorescent vest, something we've seen from politicians trying to build a following, and he's even let a few jump shots fly, a commonplace campaign trail photo op. On top of all that, Zuckerberg's foundation has former Obama campaign whiz David Pluff on the payroll, and they just hired former Clinton pollster Joel Benenson. You don't tend to hire pollsters unless you want to know what people are thinking. Uh, so my guess is the pollster is helping him understand the American people. If Zuckerberg gets political, there are hurdles ahead. To survive the Democratic primary, the first thing he's going to need to do is appeal to women more than he's been able to do as a corporate leader so far. One of the big criticisms of Facebook Inc. is that they don't hire women. Women aren't elevated and women's voices are suppressed internally. New company data shows Facebook's workforce is 35% female, an improvement over last year. And as the company changes, so does the CEO. Asked on Facebook if he's still an atheist, Zuckerberg wrote, quote, no. I was raised Jewish, and then I went through a period where I questioned things, but now I believe religion is very important. Then this spring came a commencement address that sounded like a campaign speech. How about stopping climate change before we destroy the planet and getting millions of people involved manufacturing and installing solar panels? How about curing all diseases and getting people involved by asking volunteers to share their health data, track their health data, and share their genomes? Forbes says the Facebook founder is worth more than $70 billion, and the Facebook friends who helped to make him that rich could help him finance a campaign, too. He has the infrastructure to reach pretty much everyone in America. Every voter in America pretty much is on Facebook. And Facebook has new functionalities that allow you to raise money through the platform that he could definitely leverage to his advantage. Like President Trump, Zuckerberg's yearly salary is $1. But unlike President Trump, Zuckerberg isn't old enough to be sworn in for another two years. Brett? Peter, thank you.